that helps. All right, update. Um, my shirt's inside out and I just noticed and I don't care. And uh, I got two chihuahuas to help me with my, come here, puppy. To help me in my fight for my health. I've got uh, two chihuahuas. Um, next is uh, ongoing uh, chiropractic. That, that gives me relief. <clears throat> I have a, <coughs> excuse me, I have acupuncture coming up. I have an endoscopy and colonoscopy scheduled, trying to figure it out. Um, I did find out through a test that um, there's some kind of bacterial something going on. It's my gut and my, my head are both tied together and it's intense and awful. And um, we, we rescued these two eight-month-old chihuahuas, Poppy and Marge. We named them. took three days to name them. We've had them about six days now. Um, this morning, it, my health goes up and down all the time still. My blood pressure just goes nuts and, and it's, you know, all confusing and I don't know. I have another follow-up appointment with my doctor tomorrow, um, my PCP, um, and he is a DO, so he's going to manipulate me some and that always helps. Uh, today I woke up feeling okay, meaning only head pressure and my, um, stomach uh, started feeling bad and, and when my chest feels bad I can know my blood pressure's up both upper and lower number and it's been going nuts for a few days and it was low for several days while I was on Augmentin now I'm on um, Seftonir trying to figure this out um, but today I started feeling lousy and I'm laying down because that's the only thing that gives me any kind of relief and I look down in my stomach you could see my heartbeat my pulse in my stomach like I was laying down my phone was on my belly and it was ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. you could see it blood pumping to my belly trying to solve whatever who knows but anyway it's been awful um my the thing that's been carrying me through has been prayers specifically when I'm desperate when I'm feeling bad it makes me sad and I need prayers for peace specifically. So I was praying for um, a diagnosis and healing, and then I was just praying for healing, and then I switched to praying for um, peace because I don't know how long it's going to go on, and I need peace no matter what. So what I did was I, I started calling on brethren. Uh, I would send a text, hey, can you pray with me? I, I need peace. And so several brethren, I mean 20 over these months, I've gone to, and uh, the prayers of the, the saints, just hearing a Christian petition God on my behalf has been incredibly sustaining. Uh, that's what's bring, seeing me through, uh, and, I, and I've been able to attain that peace that I need, and it's been good. Uh, I, I called on Robbie Eversole Sr. to pray with me, and um, he... Uh, beautiful prayer on my behalf and it, and it just floated me and they, you know they bring me to tears often um, and then he asked me about money because I can't work and I'm not a full-time pulpit minister drawing a salary I'm just a full-time kingdom worker uh, doing TikTok and uh, of course I've paused that now I can't do that I was preaching twice a week on uh, digital Bible study on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and um, I can't do that anymore. I, I never know when I'm just going to have to crawl into bed so I can't commit to anything. Um, I spend a lot of time in bed. Um, I'm vastly better than I was a few weeks ago. Vastly. And I know you can't tell by looking at me. But Robbie asked me about funds and then he took it upon himself when he found out that it's bad. Um, the co-pays are just killing me. If I didn't have insurance, we would be deeply in debt. Um, he took it upon himself to start a GoFundMe for me. So I'm going to try to put it in the description here of the video. If not, I'll put it in a comment. And if I, I don't know, I've never tried to do this. So if uh, TikTok kicks it off, you can always, um, you can find me on Facebook 
and, and I've shared it to my Facebook, and it's Paul Mays. And it's also on Paul Mays Acapella Hymns because Robbie tagged me there. So he tagged my Acapella Hymns page. So having said all that, um, uh, it really I would I would prefer if you just go to your elders and say, hey, this guy works his tail off for the Lord, and he's sick, and he can't work anymore. So if I come back, if it's the Lord's will that I come back strong, then you can count, me, count on me to get back to work, private Bible studies, um, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I learned from Travis Thomas. Go watch Truth with Proof. Travis Thomas here on TikTok and YouTube. He's like He went live, and I was just dealing with all the comments, but I watched him, and, and he's a close brother. I've worked with him several times. Um, he, he was just not dealing with any of the comments and taking live callers in, and I was like, man, that's the way. And I'm jealous, not in a bad way, in a good way. I'm jealous of that, and I want it. So that's going to be one of the things I do when I come back, and it'll it'll bear fruit. TikTok's been bearing fruit. Um, my meetings bear fruit. So I write the hymns. They are sermons and song. I teach them in, online, and I teach them in um, gospel meeting formats, singing, preaching, revival meeting formats. Those bear fruit. People become Christians. People repent. Uh, they bear fruit for the Lord's glory. And then... Um, um, writing the hymns, teaching the hymns, uh, holding meetings, all of it. Um, I, I want to come back strong. If it's the Lord's will that I am healed, I will. If not, I'll have to continue uh, just fighting for my health and seeing what I can do. Right now, it's, it's a challenge just to let the chickens out, feed the chickens, wash a load of laundry every couple, three days. I mean, I'm doing good to do that. I mean, I've taking care of dinner a few times, but not much, because it's just hard. Everything is hard. Everything is hard. So, um, love you all. I'm going to heaven. You should come with me. Um, it sure makes you long for heaven. You get some health issues, and I was absolutely spoiled rotten. Super good health before this. Like, no meds of any kind, and all of a sudden, my blood pressure starts ticking up about maybe 10 months ago, and went on blood pressure pills, and I'm like, mm, it's a bummer, because, you know, the picture of health, hard work, and I could do lots of physical labor and not feel it, and then all of a sudden this. So it makes you long for heaven and the brevity of life and all. Here, Here's a little plot twist for you. This is... My grandmother's the 41st oldest person in the world right now, registered anyway. Um, you can find her on Wikipedia. Look at number 41. That's her. Um, my mom is old. She flies back and forth to Texas to hang out with her. And then uh, my one great-grandfather made it to 100. My other grandmother made it to 102, and it was Mercer that took her out in the hospital. She shouldn't have died at that age. If you're in my family on either side, and as long as you don't use tobacco, you're likely to get well into your 90s. So... What I'm going through is not normal. It's some kind of bacterial something. Um, and I'm fighting for my health. I should come back strong. And you, the Lord, should get 40 years of service out of me after this. Should. Likely. That's my goal. I want to come back working hard. Um, if you're, I would prefer your congregation. You know, Just tell your congregation, this man does this. And maybe give them some links or whatever you want to some of my teachings, some of my songs, whatever. I'm a hymnist. I write the doctrine of Christ into potent, accurate, specific teaching hymns with Bible support for every single lyric. If you find me a worker worthy of my wage, uh, I would love it if you'd go to bat for me with your congregation and go to that uh, go GoFundMe. Hopefully I can get it in the description or the comment. If not, Facebook has it, so tired. I'm tired of fighting for my health. These dogs help. They bring sunshine. But the prayers of the faithful, that really sustains me. Please keep praying more than anything. Please keep praying. <clears throat> Love you all. I'm going to heaven. Come with me.